two teams, only one ring. Welcome to the finals on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith here to tip off the final chapter in this year's NBA story. It's game one of the finals. And the home floor for the series tonight in Toronto as the Raptors will be playing against the Golden State Warriors. Well, for the Warriors, they're playing great basketball going into these NBA Finals. A dominating performance in the last round, sweeping the series in four straight. It all comes down to this. Two teams remaining, one Larry O'Brien trophy to give out. Shaq, what do you expect to see out of each club's stars? Well, one, you got to keep your teammates involved. Definitely got to be unselfish. If that doesn't work, do what you do. When the time calls, take over the game, baby. Well, sometimes in the NBA Finals, a star can be created. You know, this is when you make your fame. You know, sometimes a role player ends up making the biggest difference, and he's no longer a role player. Like you did in 94 when you hit seven threes in uh, game one. Jeez. I wasn't counting. I wasn't counting. I didn't realize. Well, Kenny hates there. it when you bring that up. Yeah, that was. Don't don't bring up that. We uh, we send you out to Kevin Harlan now as they get ready for the opening tip. Polishing my ring. and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. It'll be the defending NBA champion, Golden State Warriors, and the Toronto Raptors. Look at Toronto. At the top seed, possessing home court advantage, and they're looking to come out and make a statement here in this first game. And it does not get any bigger than this. The NBA Finals, the world's attention fixed on this court tonight, but surrounded by the embrace of their home crowd. They'll look to start the series with a win. Golden State will get the first possession. And what a great feeling as the NBA Finals, with so much anticipation leading up to it, are finally going. And now the Golden State Warriors start. pair of Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Iguodala and Green, the duo at forward. And it's Bogut at the center filling out the middle. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Oh, good on the triple. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Fades away. And that one drops for him. Leonard's got his second basket of the game. For mid-range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. The shot by Thompson, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is 
so strong in the paint. A shot by Lowry, no good. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, he knocked those down. Yeah, that's a surprise in this, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time. Toronto, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. The three drops in the tray. He's got himself going there. His first points of the game in the deep ball. Well, it took a lot of work for Kyle Lowry to become this dangerous from three-point land. And downtown is one terrific option among many for this guy. Now here's Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Shot to stop the run. And he sinks the way up. Well, a tough contest from the defender does not impede the progress of Clay Thompson. He's just doing work right now. All right, now let's find out what head coach Nick Nurse had to say to David Aldridge. David. His pregame speech wasn't much. He said his players didn't need it. They're pumped up enough as it is. The only thing he told them in kicking off these NBA finals was, this is what you fought for all year. And if you want it, go out and take it. We'll see how they entered this series, Kevin. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. It's stolen by Green. Iguodala kicks to Green. Not a piece of it. And just the kind of star you're hoping to avoid. One for five from the field here early on. Lowry dishes to Lennon. Back to Lowry. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Boy, that makes them four out of five to start this thing. They're finding very good shots early on. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. Here's Curry with the three. No good that time. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Outside Leonard. Lowry against Curry. Lowry can't get it to go. Warriors trail by eight. Green kicks to Curry. Thompson outside. And the Warriors miss again. Well, he continues to have trouble with his shot. Well below 50% from the field in this period. Iguodala against Leonard. Iguodala, that's good. Well, you love that Andre Iguodala seems to relish an opportunity to have contact and have to finish anyway. Now here's Leonard. Knocked away. Siakam kicks to Leonard. Pass to Siakam. Eyes again. And Leonard with the lay-in. Leonard's got six. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Eight-point game. Back to Thompson. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Leonard. He's obviously still trying to find the range. No success this quarter. You wonder what it would take to get him to pass the ball. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they Two pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. He throw good, Gasol. And there aren't too many big men more dependable than Gasol. He's a skilled passer who can operate out of that high post, but also give you a little rim protection if you need it. And so he hits both. And the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. Here is Lowry. He has six. Outside Gasol. Lowry passes to Gasol. And good that time. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up a little more sense. Of time out, time out. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. 
and with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. Well, Greg, I think I love the timeout call. At least it gives you a shift in momentum. It's a smart move. chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Second is Kawhi Leonard. Steph Curry fourth. And whether it's been attacking off the bounce or pulling up, both these guys have been lighting it up. On the wing, Thompson. Headed by Green. Trying to get open as it out. And Green slams it in. Well, that's where you see the IQ of Clay Thompson, a step ahead of everyone else. A beautiful delivery. Curry against Lowry. And Looney sends it back. To the paint. Green finds Thompson. Floats one. That one goes. Counting. Thompson's got his second bucket of the night. Well, Clay Thompson has just about every shot in his arsenal, including that high arcing floater. Lowry against Curry. Lowry dishes to Green. Six on the shot clock. Here's Leonard. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Leonard's got eight. I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. I don't think you can ask for anything more, Greg. What a wonderful job establishing a lead early in this one. Now here's Thompson. Here's Curry with the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. 11 feet away. And it's Leonard missing. Warriors trail by seven. Here's Green. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the ball and will shoot two. I don't think you can help but admire what Draymond Green brings to the floor on a night-by-night -night basis. This guy plays with a giant chip, and he wants his teammates to come with him. Good green. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And here's Lowry. Six points for him. Out left of the wing. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Shot goes in. Green's got six. Well, this here is a game. Good run to close the gap. Yeah, they ramped up their intensity, forced good things to happen, and now they're right back in it. And there's Mark Gasol on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got three assists in the game. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Trailing by five. This is it to Kirk. Off from three point range. Toronto's gone two or five from three point land here in the first quarter. Siakam and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. First trip to the line for him here. At the line for two. Two shots. And 
the first one at the line is good. And some changes here for the Raptors. Baca comes in for Mark Gasol. And it's Powell in for Green. Golden State also making some changes. Livingston comes in for Andre Iguodala. And Cook subbed in for Steph Curry. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Warriors trail by seven. Here is Cook. Thompson outside. Outside, Green. Eyes a three. Kawhi Leonard with the rebound. Leonard's got four rebounds now tonight. Now here's Bob. He's guarded closer. Thompson against Leonard. Here's Siakam. A three-pointer off the mark. The Warriors shooting 40% here in the early stages. Here is Cook, now recovering. Thompson surveying the floor. Shoots over Powell. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. And that's now six points for Clay Thompson. Leonard against Thompson. Now here's Leonard. Defense right on him. Can't get it to go. Warriors trail by five. Green passes to Thompson. Throws down the alley oop slam. Well, you love to see Clay Thompson take off toward the rack, the vertical on time. Now here's Lowry. He has six. And the Raptors miss again. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Right. Perfect contest in that instance, Greg. Making it really hard on the shooter to have any kind of space at all. Gets it to very close range, but there was no way the defense going to back off and give him that layup. Powell down low. He's covered by Livingston. See, the athleticism of Norman Powell is a problem. This guy understands how to get defenders committed to him. The Raptors have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. One thing that there's no question about is that Norman Powell is a gifted athlete. Now it's about rounding out that game, particularly his shooting. He makes one of two that time. Warriors trail by four. Pass to Livingston. Leonard with the steal. Three-pointer, Lowry, that's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Lowry's got his third basket of the night right there. Well, Lowry had his mind made up. It's the rise and fire as soon as he gets the touch. Green, left side. Back to Livingston. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's your red go. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Well, it's the size that Livingston presents at the point guard spot that's so unique. This guy is terrific, finding the open man. Siakam lays it up and banks it in. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Now, here's Livingston, guarded by Powell. Looking it over. They get a hand on it. 125 left here in the opening quarter. Got that one up quick. And now it's an eight-point Raptor lead. Boy, he has exploded. You couldn't ask for a better quarter from a guy. McKinney kicks to your goal. And another three for Golden State. And they don't want to get in 
a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Howie from outside. No good that time. So Golden State will take it the other way. As long as they can hang on to this lead, he won't have to answer for what's been an off night for him. Yurepko, the pass to McKinney. Livingston with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. From 15 feet away, rebound by the Raptors. Leonard's got his fifth rebound in this one. A 15-footer. They grab their own miss. Shots good by Ibaka. And the Raptors lead by seven. Kev, we know this about Serge Ibaka. This guy is a strong presence on the offensive glass. If you don't check him out, you're going to get hurt. Is Cook now recovering. Here's Cook. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Toronto heading to the bench with a seven point lead as we wrap up the quarter. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. talks about what makes coach Steve Kerr so unique as they balance winning with the big picture. He genuinely cares about you know, what's going on in our lives and our families and basketball wise I think he's he's really opened my eyes to the perspective of just how you run a team but that life is obviously a lot bigger than basketball. There's a nice little I guess marriage of those two that you can enjoy along the way in the process of what we do. That's a good way of putting it, isn't it? At the end of the day, life is bigger than basketball. And Steve Kerr shows that. I mean, he cares about his players, his staff. Beyond that, he cares about the country and the world around him. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. Take a look here at the Raptors' performance here, guys. What have they been doing or, or not doing, in your opinion? Hustling on that offensive glass. That, that's led to a number of second chance points. I don't think the defense has been very good. And right now they're letting them pounce all over them and get second chance opportunities. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Two two. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, they've got Livingston, Jonas Yarebko out there with Bell, and it's McKinney in at the three, the small forward. The first one falls for him. Makes both free throws. And, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Warriors trail by nine. Here is Cook. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Kicks to Livingston. There's the pass to McKinney. Shot clock at six. Baseline J on the way. That's good on the jump shot. McKinney's got his first points in this one. Just the height separation on that mid-range jumper. Excellent job of taking it down. Leonard, the pass to Siakam. Over Yurepko, and the shot goes in from Siakam. Siakam's got six points. Listen, Kev, this guy, one of the more reliable scorers in the league, night in and night out. Right wing. Al Livingston. Tipped away. He claims that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Livingston's got his first basket of the night. Here's Van Vliet. This is the left. 
to the inside. Ibaka, that's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists in the game. Cook kicks to Livingston. Bell dishes to Livingston. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Well, he might be a point guard, but don't sleep on the vertical of Mr. Sean Livingston. You're talking about a big-time athlete. Pass to Ibaka. Leonard looking around. No good. He's missed three, and he's made four of his seven. Warriors trail by seven. And here in the second quarter of action with a hit under two and a half minutes played so far. Yep, it counts. Six points for him. You know, after not scoring a single point in the first quarter, they're still feeding him, and he's showing his appreciation. Here's Siakam. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Raptors lead by eight. And they've got to talk to you, each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a goal. McKinney kicks to Livingston. Outside Leonard. 18 feet out. Misses off the left iron. And it's Cook with the ball for Golden State. Eight point game. Down low. Livingston, that's good. Livingston's got eight points. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. And it's Leonard missing. Yeah, with the defense laying off him, you know he's going to pull the trigger. They're lucky he didn't burn him. Leonard with the steal. Now the Raptors moving it up. Here's Van Vliet. Yep, that one goes in there. I'll tell you, he's been a go-to guy for them as they've taken this lead, and he keeps coming. Warriors trail by eight. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Mark Gasol's checked in for Siakam. And it's Green in for Kawhi Leonard. Different look here for the Warriors. Curry on the wing. Here's Igudala. The shot, no good. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Van Vliet looking around. Six to shoot. Here's Gasol. Up again. Well, you've simply got to keep Ibaka off the glass. When you don't, he is there to clean up the mess. Warriors trail by 10. And here is Curry. The dish to Thompson. by Golden State. Toronto, they've gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Here's McCall. He's covered by Iguodala. There's Van Vliet. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. No good from McCall. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. Almost like he was anticipating the play call, right? You love the hustle. Toronto with the ball after the miss from Andre Iguodala. On the wing, Green. He's covered by Thompson. Van Vliet gets to McCall. That shot off. Curry was a nice D. Thompson in the corner. It's the three-point box. Thompson's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Warriors. Toronto's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Passes it to Gasol. Over Bogut. Hits the jump hook. And it's eight points for Mark Gasol. Warriors trail by nine. 
Looking it over. He kicks it to Thompson. Stripped away. Here's McCall. Pass to Abaka. Here's Van Vliet. To the paint. Gasol's in the post. Bogut on him. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here's Looney following the basket by Mark Gasol. From D, Big Udawa. Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. Ibaka's got his sixth rebound on the night. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Green kicks to Ibaka. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that's now nine points for Serge Ibaka. I think you could see early on that he was really with a rhythm and flow tonight, and now he's really starting to take off. Back to Thompson, and they get it. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Van Vliet passes to Green, and the rejection by Igudala. And Ibaka kicks to Green. Here's Van Vliet. He's covered by Thompson. A second chance effort. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Warriors trail by 14. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now here's Green. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Ari finds Gasol. Toronto working the ball around now. Ibaka, the pass to Green. That's the free fly. And the Raptors hit again from deep. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. And the pass to Thompson. Outside curve. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Curry's got his second basket of the night. Curry against Lowry. Ibaka outside. Pass to Gasol. Lowry from outside. Rebounded by Bogut. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Down by 12. Kicks it to Thompson. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Well, it's the Clay Thompson show tonight. The full extent of his offensive arsenal on display. Nice D from Bogut. Warriors trail by 10. Curry from deep three-point land. Great look, but off the mark. I'll tell you, his inconsistency not helping their cause at all. Lowry up top, guarded by Curry. And he could not get that one to go contact and he'll go to the line for two i'll tell you kevin for his size kyle lowry is as good a finisher at the rim as you'll find and they're not going to give him a free run to the cup for toronto they have been coming through at the charity street they've made seven of their eight attempts we throw drops for kyle lowry and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter and toronto making a change here leonard's checked in the warriors also with a sub Green, he's checked in for Andrew Bogut.
and that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, let's remember, this guy was part of Team USA that went on to win gold in Rio. And if you remember, Coach K called Lowry the team's unsung hero. Very high praise for Kyle. Now here's Curry. He has six. The lead now cut to single digits. Curry's got six in the quarter. And he's on a good pace here for three-point range. Made one in the first, two more here in the second. It seems like with more to come. A shot by Lowry. Wide open. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Raptors lead by 12. Golden State's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Here's Green. Rejected by Gasol. Lowry against Curry. Shoots over Curry. Not enough on that one as it misses. Warriors trail by 12. Iguodala kicks to Green. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. They get Marcus Song. Well, make no mistake. Draymond Green will bully you on the interior if you allow it. You've got to make sure he doesn't force the issue. He's gone two for two at the line so far. is off. Siakam is checked in for Serge Ibaka. And then for Golden State. McKinney's checked in and it's Livingston in for Thompson. And he misses the second one as well so he is 0 for 2 that time. He's leading by 12. Siakam kicks to Leonard. To the middle. And there's Gasol. That's good on the assist from Leonard. That's 12 points for Mark Gasol. And, and he knows how to make good use of his size in that low block. And Gasol's inside game is very refined. There's a there's a smoothness to how he approaches it. Lowry against Kerr. Over to the wing. Here's Livingston over Green, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Toronto with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Thanks, Kevin. Kawhi, you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking down open shots, uh, my ball handling, and making good decisions, off the pick and roll, and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. For the Raptors, they've taken this opening game by storm, playing championship-level ball on both ends of the floor. If the first half is any indication of what this series will be like, we may be in for a show. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, right now, they're winning the battle above the rim. I'm talking about all their offensive rebounds, just a ton of second chance opportunities. They just wanted it more. And obviously, those extra possessions will convert it into points, points that help them build this huge lead. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? Well, they struggled in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You got to protect the rim. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. We return now to Toronto with a fantastic look at the sunset at the downtown skyline of Toronto, Ontario. Wow, what a great view. We welcome you back to our presentation of Game One. Kyle Lowry has just been sensational. Yeah, and sometimes you find yourself in a role 
you're not comfortable with, but his passing in the first half really was impressive. But Greg, there's no doubt. This guy has been superb at moving the ball and getting all of his guys going on the offensive end. Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guards in. And then there's Kawhi Leonard. It's Mark Gasol. And it's Siakam in at the four shot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Well, putting himself in harm's way, Thompson earns a trip to the foul line. He knows how to put defenders on their heels. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. It is so easy to like the easygoing Clay Thompson. This guy is so dependable at both ends, and he excels shooting the basketball. So Thompson nails both of them. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Toronto. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. He kicks it to Gasol. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Warriors trail by 14. Outside Curry. On the wing, it's Igudala. shot and picks up two points so one free throw coming up well kev you love the determined nature of andre Iguodala. even when he gets bodied he's willing to power through it and this is his first trip to the line tonight not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line very low numbers and Iguodala, no good on that well, I think the veteran and championship experience of Andre Iguodala is critical. This guy is a versatile forward who is well known for being a defensive stopper. Golden State's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. And that's how you want to come out of the locker room. He is fired up. Absolutely perfect start to the half, setting the tempo right away with an easy opportunity at the cup. against Thompson. Now, here's Green. He's tightly guarded. Just five to shoot. Lowry from outside. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Well, that's just mastery of the lead guard position. Kyle Lowry running the pick and roll to perfection. Lowry finds Iguodala. Logan back up on top. Defended by Gasol. Green passes the top. And another three for Golden State. Marvelous start to the second half. Three for three. Raptors leading by ten. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Offside Gasol. Baseline try. And that one goes long. Golden State's got the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And Green gets it to go. Great calling great execution leads to four for four to start this half curry against low and siakam has it in the corner that ball's high speed that time from kyle lowry he's got five assists in the game timeout called the warriors On the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with the rundown of this postseason's assist leader. Draymond Green, fourth. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Feeds it to Thompson. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Leonard against Iguodala. 
Shoots it. Misses off the right iron. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And that one drops for him. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Curry against Lowry. He feeds it to Gasol. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Well, it's his intelligence that puts Kyle Lowry up there with the top assist men in the NBA. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Thompson outside. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got five assists tonight. Wow, and how huge has he been today? Really just giving his team a nice look. They'd be in a much deeper hole without his contributions, no doubt about it. Here's Lowry, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. The toughness being shown right there by Kyle Lowry. There's no doubt he is this team's bull. He will finish and head to the line. Your Rebko's checked in for Golden State. Quinn Cook comes in for Curry. Your Rebko kicks to Ududala. Pass to Cook. The pass to Thompson. Five on the clock. He dishes it to Your Another three for Golden State. And what a great start. To the second half. They've hit everything they've looked at thus far. Lowry with the ball. 22 points for him. Right side Gasol over Yurepko. It's Gasol missing. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. What a great job contesting without foul. Exactly how you want to defend the mid range. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, he's checked in for Draymond Green. Here's Thompson. Green with the block. And he's able to get it back. Well, he does a lot of his work on the interior. More than people realize. Blake Thompson gets those calls because of his willingness to put himself in tough spots. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself at the line. That free throw good from Thompson. It's both of them. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Siakam passes to Green. Looks for Lowry, gets it to him. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. 24 points for Kyle Lowry. Well, Kevin, this guy's proven over and over that despite his size disadvantage, he's still able to score in the paint. Thompson with it. Now Green defending. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. He has certainly done his part this period. Uh, just needs to get a little more help from his teammates. The Warriors have shot 67% from the line, going six of nine. That free throw good from Thompson. Now Lowry, 24 points for him. Pass to Gasol. Dish is to Lennon. Toronto working the ball around now. Upside Lowry. And the wide open shot from Green. And again, Toronto with the triple. But Kyle Lowry can be so creative sometimes. You think the window's too tight, but he finds a way. On the wing, Thompson. Another three for Golden State. That's his third triple this half, and that's after hitting only one before that. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Lowry drawing the double team. And good that time. 
Purcell has got six points in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And Repco kicks to Thompson. Off target from three-point range. A great job on the closeout, providing a lot of good deep on the perimeter. That's a superb effort on the defense. Raptors have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. First free throw is good. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Raptors. The Warriors also with a sub. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. He's perfect from the line this time. Warriors trail by seven. Passes to Cook. Let's a floater go, and the layup is good. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. Toronto's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Ibaka right side. Over Bell. Ibaka, no luck. Golden State's got 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter. Going four or five shooting inside. And he uses the glass on the late. Now it's just a three-point Raptor lead. I'll tell you, nothing like having excellent interior position and the athleticism to finish. Jordan Bell, step to the mic, sir. And here's Lowe. Rebounded by Yurebko. Yurebko's got four rebounds now tonight. Down low. Here's Livingston. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Boy, still a dependable shot blocker. That is what got Serge Ibaka playing time at the beginning of his career. Nice. Yurebko can't get it to go. Toronto leading by three. Green inside. He's covered by Livingston. The call will go against Yurebko. That's foul number two for him. Looney's check in for the Warriors. Here's Siakam. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Siakam's got seven points for the quarter. Boy, Ibaka is such a great teammate. This guy is always willing to find the open man. He's to Looney. Kicks to Cook. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And the three ball is good. Thompson's got 34. Boy, as aggressive as he's been hitting all these shots, they're still behind. Now, here is Lowry. He's covered closely. Here's Siakam. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. First one falls for. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line to this hat. He's off on the second. Warriors trail by three. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The Warriors have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight, 7 for 10. And the first one drops. What's extraordinary to me is Sean Livingston nearly didn't have an NBA career because of that horrific injury. But how about the ability to overcome that and be a key part of a team? Truly extraordinary. And Toronto has possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. 
Siakam passes to Green. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play and gets the finish. The free throw drops for Green. And one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on that three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact. Here is Cook. Rocket six at the Jerebko. Off target from three-point range. Raptors leading by four to the inside. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Cook gets to Livingston. Looney passes to Cook. Your red coat is just to Thompson. No good on that one. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. To the paint. Here's Green. That's good. And it's running with the assist. Leonard's got six assists in the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here is Cook. Now recovering. Cook kicks to Yarebko. Knocked away. Fast break. Nobody near Leonard. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Just relentless. Really impressed with how they've been able to maintain that focus. I think it's obvious, Greg. They want this win. They're showing no let up in their attack right now. Livingston looking for the opening. The pass to Repco. Find the shoot. Stop the run, and the jumper is on the mark. Cook's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, shaky work defensively, giving him that good look on the jump shot. What were they thinking? I don't know, Doris. Lowry kicks to Siaka. Pass to Leonard. <laughs> to the middle. Here's Abaka. And Looney sends it back. That's good by Abaka. And that's the battle. They haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Here is Cook, now recovering. Cook, the pass to Thompson. The offensive rebound. Golden State moving it around. Second shot opportunity. There's Looney, and at last they get one to fall. Looney's got his second best. Now, here's Lowry. 24 points for him. Pass to Leonard. Over Thompson. Good D by Thompson. Kyle Lowry firing on all cylinders for Toronto. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. Back to the action after this word. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. And, Greg, nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Iguodala and Green, the duo at forward. The tremendous pair of Curry and Clay in the backcourt. And it's Looney in at the center position. Lowry gets to Gasol. It's stolen by Green. Shoots. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Lowry against Curry. Outside Lowry. Pass to Gasol. Shot from the wing. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got nine assists now tonight. 
And here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. It's a 10 point game. He kicks to Thompson. Looney passes to Curry. Rebound by the Raptors. Buck has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Outside Leonard. Green against Green. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. And it's a 12-point Raptor lead. The Warriors shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Where he finds Igudala. And he banks in the layup. Igudala at his best. A terrific drive. Gets to the rim with ease. Lowry against Curry. The drive by Lowry. on the trifecta. Green's got it back down to a single digit deficit for the Warriors. Curry against Lowry. Kicks it to Gasol. Gasol is down. And Leonard has it in the corner. Good and the assist goes to Gasol. And that's 13 points for Leonard. Back at you. Yeah, that's payback for the three on the other end. Like the shot selection in that instance. He wanted to get him back, and he did just that with the three. Poked away. And the whistle blows in the backward violation. He went over and back. And the Warriors making a change here. Bogut's checked in. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Lowry kicks to Gasol. Back to Lowry. From deep. Warriors with the rebound. From deep. Green. Another three for Golden State. What a turnaround in the second half. So much more accurate overall. Raptors leading by seven. Outside Gasol. Back to Lowry. The pass to Leonard. Iguodala with the steal. Curry against Lowry. Right side Curry. The teardrop falls in. And now just a five point Raptor lead. Well, that floater right there is exactly what you would see from Steph Curry in his warm up. He practices every shot from every angle. Outside Leonard. Back to Lowry. Curry was a nice D. His high percentage shot right at the rim, and he's wondering what happened. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Oh, I love watching Green take it all the way to the rack with his size and speed. He puts a ton of pressure on the defense to foul him. The first free throw is good. Throws good from Green. Raptors leading by three. Outside Lowry. Here's Gasol. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Green kicks to Curry. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got five assists tonight. They needed a run desperately, and boy, did they come up big. Uh, they regroup, they worked out some of their frustrations, and now we're seeing them have some fun. Leonard inside. He's covered by Igudala. Golden State's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far to take the lead. And another three for Golden State. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending 
the triple. And the Raptors call time here. Clay Thompson with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hi, guys. During that last break, I heard what the Raptors coach told to his team. He told them to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Kevin will see if he can get it done. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so here is Golden State. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Dream breaking loose. No good from Bogut. Good interior D there for Vince. Well, if he wasn't there, that shot's going in. Love the effort of the defense man. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical jump. State. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Toronto trailing. Outside Leonard. And it's Leonard with the jam. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that ball? Curry dishes to it out. Back to Curry. Rejected by Gasol. Leonard against Zigouda. Leonard the pass to Lauer. Shot clock at six. Shot from the top of the key. And again, it's Toronto converting. No space to get that jumper off, but Lowry, he doesn't need a ton of space. Curry kicks to Bogut. Marcus Saul picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And Toronto making a change. Siakam's checked in. Outside Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. with it. Like at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And here's Green outside. Sinks the triple. Green's got 21 in the game. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. The Raptors have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Lowry finds Leonard. Iguodala and the Raptors tap on two more. I'll tell you, this guy will not stop pouring it on. It doesn't matter what approach they've tried to use against him. He has had an answer for everything. Thompson against Green. Outside curve. They get a hand on it. The dish to Green. Here's Green. That ball's nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. And it's a three-point Raptor lead. And they are earning points with the jump shot now. Thompson with it. Now Green defending. Iguodala kicks to Bogut. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's his third foul of the game. Outside green. No good on the three. 
enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. And here's Green outside. A great job on the closeout, providing a lot of good deep on the perimeter. Well, that's just superb effort on the defensive end. You don't allow the shooter to get into a rhythm from deep. Green, the pass to Lauer. Pass to Siakam. And it's stolen by Green. against Lauer. Curry kicks to Thompson. To the paint. It's deflected. Nice break. Here come the Raptors. Lowry against Curry. Shot from free throw range. And he hits the jump shot. Now he's got 28. stories here Kyle Lowry getting it done today oh, he's flat giving it to him right now and this timeout is critical if they're going to stop his momentum I think you've got to make some major defensive adjustments a chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game Kyle Lowry and guys no doubt who our pick was going to be uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed it's been total domination and you can't help but just sit back and admire Thompson and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his eighth assist in the game. Hunter's leading by three. Inside, here's Leonard, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three point play chance here for him. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Big point onto the lead. Great in one play showing us now a little bit of that killer instinct. Lowry against Curry. Passes to Thompson. He kicks to Green. In the corner, Ibudawa with him. Back to Curry. Just five on the clock. And he's good on the three ball. Curry's got 13 points in the second half. One of the best ever at embracing big moments. Step up to the challenge. Iguodala against Leonard. Out to the wing. Outside Lowry. Toronto needs to get off a shot. On deep. Doesn't go for him. Good defense by Iguodala. To the paint. Here's Green. It's good. Now just a one-point Raptor lead. Of this we know. Draymond Green does not lack a confidence. Big time shot there. And he's just putting the team on his back when he's needed most. Don't you just love to see that confidence in taking these big shots? Curry against Lowry. Oh, wow. You must have passed the time. So clutch, saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. And timeout called by Nick Nurse. It's 47 seconds left in the game. Leonard, come! Defensively, this is what you know.
get a real good look. My question is, will they go for the two to tie or three to win? 20 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Thompson against Green. Argusel picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Up top, Curry. Now recovering. Yes! And he has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Hot look out. This guy is fantastic at understanding what the defense is conceding and making them pay. Toronto calls timeout. The score nodded at 127. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Left side Lowry. Bigger dollar with the steal. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. And it's the Warriors to start out. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And Golden State looking at who they beat. Thompson and Iguodala make up the permanent. Looney out there with Draymond Green. And it's Curry in at the point guard position. Well, I'll tell you, he's not afraid to take hits on the way to the free throw line. Kyle Lowry will manufacture points any way he has to. First one falls for him. And Kyle Lowry drops them both. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Trailing by two. To the inside. And Gasol sends it back. Pass to Green. Over Thompson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And why take that contested shot? I mean, make the extra pass. That's a head scratch. When the defense is in your grill, move the ball. Here's Curry with the three. Sinks the triple. Curry's got 32 points in the game. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. To the middle, here's Leonard. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. And the Raptors lead by one. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Green. Good on the 13-footer. Green's got 25 points in the game. Yeah, the mid-range can be an effective area for Draymond Green. As a passer, you've got to respect him. Now he pulls the trigger on the jumper. Leonard, another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. The pass to Looney. Thompson outside, to the inside. Green, no luck. That's simply not aggressive enough. Needs to show grit and determination and didn't on that one. Iguodala with the steal. On the wing, Green. Kicks it to Kirk. Thompson for three. And it's Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Good work there as it goes. This guy's trying to close this game out in style. He's not going to stop attacking until he's sure this win is in the books. Curry against Lowry. Thompson outside. And a miss there on the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Outside Leonard. Outside Gasol. From outside, off 
the mark. Warriors trail by three. To the middle. Here's Thompson. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Well, big time moment means big time guy. And Clay Thompson delivers yet again. And how big was that? He is just so reliable, so confident at the free throw line. We're now about three minutes into this overtime period. And here's Leonard. Pass to Lowry. Here's Siakam, guarded by Kirk. And he comes up with the deuce. Siakam's got 23. And that's what you want to see. Good fundamental sound basketball with the back Curry on the wing. Now recovering. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Just under three and a half minutes played in the extra period here. Pass to Leonard over Iguodala. And that's collected by Bogut. Four years have gone a shade under 50% from the floor here in Overton. And they've hit three of seven. Down low, three. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And so both free throws are good. And it's a two-point ball game. Yeah, critical that he's able to convert there. Now they've taken the lead. Lowry against Kirk. He kicks to Green. Pass to Bogut. Golden State moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. And a deep three from Kirk. And again for three. The three's coming fast and furious. He is scorching the net. Now GA tied for the third most three-point field goals in single-game playoff history. Leonard, no luck. Defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shoot. What a great job contesting without fouling. Exactly how you want to defend the mid-range shot. Gasol trying to free himself up. Siakam misses. And it's the Warriors ball. Big stretch here going 10-2. Inside. Here's Iguodala. A shot. No good. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Green against Thompson. Green finds Leonard. And it's off from three-point range. And that's an intentional foul. Right on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Well, we know Steph Curry is a lethal shooter. I think the underplayed value that he has is his finishing ability at the rim. He can get into the mid-range. I mean, you've got to guard this guy from every space on the floor as soon as he steps across the half-court line. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. Seven seconds left to play in the first overtime. Here's Gasol. Powell, the pass to McCall. Those three pointers off the mark. And guys, overtime not nearly as competitive as regulation. They've used up all their energy just getting it to overtime. So we see the Warriors get the win here. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.